we're looking at the private api network and if you want to navigate to this page then you can select api network on top and hit the private api network so what the private api network is is that it's a single source of truth for all of the apis that are being worked upon by the different teams in your organization or your entire team and uh, like we see here all of these apis and at this point of time i have six apis so you probably may have a lot more apis or maybe hundreds of apis that are being worked upon and how you can organize them is by way of folders so it's a good idea to organize all of the related apis by their team names so maybe the notification team owns uh, the email service and the notification service and has those APIs inside it. Similarly, if I want to add APIs to the notification team, then I can select the API that I want to add. And at this point, I know that there is an SMS service that the notification team also owns. So I'm going to go ahead and add that API. And it shows up here as well. So if I want to edit the API listing, then I can modify the summary and hit update. Or let's say tomorrow we regroup certain services or we remove the SMS service from the notification team and maybe have a separate team or a communications team. And I want to put this in that folder or just simply remove it from this folder, then I can just click on remove and this removes the API. So let's assume a scenario now to use or consume one of the APIs that's exposed by any of these internal services. And let's say I'm a developer on the recommendations team and for every new recommendation that is generated, I want to be able to send an email notification to the users. And I know that there is already an email service which is under notification, but let's say there were maybe hundreds of APIs in uh, my Postman team. So the easiest way to find them is to use this filtering, which I can filter by the name of the API that I'm looking for. Or what I could also do is I can search by the person that I know who's working on that API or somebody on that team who owns these APIs. And we have the email service. So let's go on to that one. So this is some documentation over here. Uh, there is a little summary and some markdown that you can add so that somebody like me from the recommendation team, for example, when they come to this page, they can probably understand more about who is expected to use the service and probably who the existing consumers are for the service. So if I scroll down, um, it also shows the versions that are available. So there is one in production and there's also one in planning. In addition, on the right side, if I want to view where this API is or where, like which workspace has this API, then I should be able to open the API in the workspace. And I should also be able to see the list of the editors that work on this particular API. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to choose the one that's in production uh, because I don't want to use the API, which is still in the planning stage. So let's just click on view. Okay. And for 1.0.0, what I see right here is the API overview page. So this has um, the open API 3 JSON schema. And I can quickly browse through the schema to understand which is the endpoint that I want to integrate my service with. Or if I want to go back and understand how I'm supposed to use these APIs, then I can simply go over to the documentation and I could probably scroll down to the one endpoint that I want to look at and use the documentation to understand how to use these. 
again, let's go over to the API overview page. So we looked at the documentation and we viewed the documentation, but if we'd like to actually run each one of the requests, then we can also choose to fork this collection, which will create a copy of that collection into our workspace where we can try out all of the requests or also create a copy of the environment. Uh, there is also a mock server that's associated with this service. And in addition, if we scroll down, we can see the releases that have happened. So the latest release is 1.4.0. Great. So if I still want to further understand how the API has been built or what all is there in the workspace, I can choose to open it in the workspace and then check out how the email service owners or maybe how the members of the notification team are developing this API. Great, uh, so I'd like to recap what we just went through. I think we looked at the private API network and how to be able to organize all of the APIs in your team into folders uh, that group related APIs. Next, we look at how to be able to filter these APIs through the name of the API or uh, by the user. And uh, we also looked at how to consume or evaluate whether this API is the one that I want to consume by selecting the API and going over to the API overview page. Thank you.